Curious about how to send power and wired data to your Microsoft Surface Go all using PoE? Well, be sure to keep watching just to see how easy it can be. Hey everyone, it's Maria, your favorite redhead from PoE Texas. I hope you're excited for today's video. From the introduction, I'm guessing you're here to learn how to send power and wired data to your Microsoft Surface Go all using power over ethernet. If that's true, then you're in the right place. In today's video, I'll be demonstrating our newest GAT USB-C PD inline adapter. This adapter will convert 802.3 AT PoE into USB Type-C power delivery profiles along with gigabit data. Now to the good part. Let's go ahead and see how it works with the Microsoft Surface Go. The PSC I'm using today is the AT4 48 volt 60 watt injector kit. The first thing I did was to make sure I bring in data on the LAN port to the corresponding PoE port I'll be using. The adapter you see here is our GAT USB-C PD inline adapter, which converts 802.3 AT PoE into USB Type-C power profiles of 5, 9, 12, 15, and 20 volts with wired gigabit data all on the USB Type-C female connection. Because this adapter is PoE powered, as soon as you connect it to a compatible power source, you'll see the LED lights indicate power immediately. The GAT USB-C PD will also include this cable you see on screen, which is a straight angled USB Type-C to right angled USB Type-C for ease of connection to your device. Once you connect the GAT USB-C PD to the Microsoft Surface Go, you can see that it only takes a few seconds for the device to recognize the connection and have Ethernet appear as the data source. The tablet is also recognizing the GAT USB-C PD as its power source to remain charging. To really see the GAT USB-C PD in action, you can now feel free to navigate to one of your favorite web pages and be comfortable in knowing you have the security and the stability of wired gigabit data all on your Microsoft Surface Go. You will notice that the Wi-Fi on this tablet has been turned off because it's receiving Ethernet from the GAT USB-C PD while maintaining a charge. It really is that easy. That's it for today, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed the video and that you're excited about this new adapter we have for you. If you did enjoy today's video, please be sure to go back and give it a huge thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the POE Texas YouTube channel. This way you'll be notified every time we post and not miss out. And if you didn't like it, that's okay. Just let us know in the comments below. Tell us what types of products or what types of demonstrations you guys wanna see. And as always, all of our social channels will be provided in the description box so you can stay up to date on everything we're doing here. PoE Texas can be found on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and of course, YouTube at PoE Texas. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Hope to see you next time.